Hi, welcome back to Impossible 2.0. Next up, I have Aries. Aries, your number was 411. When I looked at the clock, it turned to 412. But 411, what's the 411? Some type of information. You're trying to gather some information, some type of research taking place. Okay, um, disclaimer. Okay, so warning. Viewer discretion, discretion is advised when watching my videos, okay? I'm just letting you know that right now. Okay, so 411, that is your number. Okay, you may be seeing a lot of 11s. 11 is, uh, is all about ascension, the ascension process, spiritually awakening, learning about spirituality, getting in tune with your spiritual gifts, possibly connected with a soulmate. Um, some of you guys already met your soulmate. Um, you're on the right path. You're being divinely guided at this time. The ascendant masters are with you. Four is all about family matters. Okay, um, family matters. Um, what's important to you? Bills, rent, clothes, food, domesticated matters. Six. Four one is six. Follow your intuitions. This could be compromising as well, okay? But it's following your intuitions, okay? Your 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 third eye is activated. Um, yes. But you're spiritually ascending and spiritually developing at this time. You may be dreaming about uh, having a lot of prophetic dreams as well. Bus and train, traveling, stuff like that in your dreams. Okay? Pay attention to your dreams at this time. Science, synchronicities. And pay attention to what people tell you because your enemy could give you a message as well. Okay? All right. So let's begin your reading. Aries. I'm quite excited to see what comes out here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're up in the air when it comes to your love life. Things are up in the air for you. You're unsure about things at this time where you stand or where you stand in a relationship or where people stand in your in your life. Okay, yes. Yeah, you're rebuilding yourself. Some of you guys may be building a house from scratch. But right now, you're taking the time out to rebuild yourself, to learn about yourself, to grow. Okay, yes. What's in the past is in the past. Now, it's rebuilding yourself, starting over. Okay, yes. So, some of you guys may be construction workers as well. Or, um, yes, working on rebuilding a relationship or friendship, um, that's for some of you guys. But it's all about rebuilding yourself as a person, like a better version of yourself, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have determination and drive to make it. Yes, traveling. Like I said, you may be dreaming about traveling. Some of you guys may work in the airlines. Or some of you guys may be um, moving state or to a new home, but traveling to see someone. Some of you guys may travel a lot for work as well, learning how to fly. But flying, I mean, <laughs> going the distance, okay? Going to the next level. Yes, everything is happening in divine timing, but time management here. Time management. You may be meeting somebody at a long distance as well, uh, a love. Or traveling to meet family or gathering or some sort of the devil. Ooh, there's somebody obsessed with you. You may be dealing with a Capricorn, but there's like an addiction, obsession, something here. So you may be dealing with a codependent relationship as well. So let's see what this devil energy, what, what else comes out with this devil. Okay, but there's an obsession here. Yes, local travel. A lot of traveling here. Somebody may want to take you on a trip. Be careful with... Um, because this is a karmic or, you know, be careful being deceived. Okay. Somebody saying, Hey, yo, Aries, you want to go for a trip or, you know, be careful with, um, the crowd that you keep because there's somebody toxic around you or, uh, somebody not to be trusted here with the devil energy. Like, Hey, yeah. You know, going on a local trip. Oh, here, you want to, you want to go do something with me? And then something goes wrong here pay attention to your intuitions follow your intuitions okay there's just definitely a soulmate coming in that has a potential for growth okay as well yes you have hidden enemies here you go you have hidden enemies yeah but you're gonna get your karmic justice some of you guys may be going to court as well so the devil hidden enemies be careful with any road trips or visiting anyone or somebody saying hey you want to go somewhere with me careful or hitchhiking any fucking thing careful okay Yes, you're breaking those karmic cycles as well. This is all about your personal growth. Learning your lessons and applying it to your life. A lot of jealous and envious eyes around you, Aries. Yes, you're following your life purpose. What you're here for, your calling. 11, 11. You ascend the masters are with you. So you're on a spiritual journey at this time. Awakening to your truth. Okay, becoming your, uh, uh, your authentic self. Okay, discovering... Looking for meaning in life, doing us doing the soul work, healing your shadow side. 
Yes, taking the lead in your life. Some of you guys are bosses out there, entrepreneurs, or working on entrepreneurship, but you're logical, okay? You you use using logic over emotions. That's what it is, okay? But you have a high influence in business. You're stepping into leadership or getting some type of promotion, but you're fixing your crown. You're fixing your crown, okay? These motherfuckers. Everything is baby steps with you. You're taking your time as well, rebuilding yourself, okay? Uh, hold on, Aries. Okay, so spirit is saying, you know, one step at a time. But you're gradually building on success. And I see it's going to take off. The, the start of something bigger. Okay, and it's in terms of relationship as well. Stepping stones, taking your time. But getting rid of these toxic people and hidden enemies. Yes, some of you guys are living the single life. Okay, you're not settling for a bad match or you're not settling for less. Some of you guys may love to eat fruits as well some of you guys are models getting your your body you know it's all about self-care and self-love feeling good about yourself again some of you guys may be cutting your hair or dyeing it or doing some type of switch up here yes yeah you're getting rid of toxicity there's a toxic person around you yes there's illusions as well hidden enemies here there may be some type of um magic taking place in your energy to you know block you okay i don't i haven't got there yet i haven't seen it yet but I'm just saying, this may be a Cancer as well with the Moon or Pisces. But follow your intuitions. You're highly intuitive. Yes, teamwork in reverse. Yes, something is not working out with a team here. You have hidden enemies at work. Okay? Yes. But there's a partnership failing. You may be overseeing people or be a, a supervisor and it's not working out in your team. There's a lot of gossip going on here. There's a lot of jealousy as well. Okay? But I see you getting rid of a team and rebuilding a new team. Getting a new team. Okay, there's a lot of toxicity in here. Yeah, you're going to be at a crossroads here. Uh, there's an indecision here of what you want to do. Yes, trial and error. Some of you guys may be learning or applying for a new position. Some of you guys are going back to school. But it's trials and error with you, okay? But you're learning new things, exploring all possibilities at this time, and willing to try new things, okay? Again, you may be um, studying or they're training you for a new position here, and the team players, people are not uh, people are not on your bandwagon or people don't have your best interest, okay? Who gives a fuck? Yes, lightning, something sudden and su sudden change coming in. Something happening fast in your life, okay? Yeah, you feel burned out, overworked, and underpaid. Here, some of you guys may, be, may love math or be educators or teachers, but learning something new. Going back to school. Yes, yeah. Right now, there's a coldness when it comes to your heart. Your heart chakra is blocked when it comes to people. You're cleaning up the act, sweeping away toxicity, all of these devil... All of these negative energies, okay? Yes, but there's an absence of love. You feel like your love life is blocked, but you're blocking people out. It's just frozen, okay? You're all about work. Work and your money. And maintaining a single life. You're not, yeah, you're going through a renewal process. You may be dealing with a fire sign like yourself, Aries or Sagittarius, but when you play with fire, you get burned. But Spirit is saying, careful not to play with fire, okay? But it's releasing energy and emotions at this time. Pinned up energy and emotions. Anger. Somebody's going to try to upset you here. Careful. Careful with your temper. Aries. But you're going through a powerful transformation. Go with the flow. Spirit is saying go with the flow. But it's like being receptive and open-minded to these changes and learning as well. Some of you guys may be bored as well. Waiting, waiting, waiting for something to change and there's no change. Some of you guys, yeah, but magnetic. What you what you what you attract what you are. Okay, so keep your mind positive because something you're attracting fast. You're manifesting fast. Okay. Yes, there may be some sad news, some uh there may be some evil eyes going on in your energy, but you're all about taking risks. Look at this snakes, enemies, evil eye, black magic. You're learning and you're developing your skills. Your mastery of skills, but there may be some type of sad news coming in. One more. Some of you guys may love to gamble or play dice. Getting out of your comfort zone. Yes, you're taking some time off. Okay. Yes, you're over you're overburdened. You may be getting a lot of headaches as well. But uh, 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 your money is coming in, baby. You're manifesting. You're manifesting money. 
Okay, some of you guys may have been struggling all your life or you be you may be in a codependent relationship where you're struggling with a person, you can't make ends meet, you're getting rid of this person. They're toxic as fuck. But you may have a lot of people begging, begging, begging. But you came you came a long way when it came to your hustle. You hustle for your money. Okay, you're a survivalist. Period. You're surviving the hustle and I see your money coming in. What you're manifesting is money. Not a relationship. You're, you're manifesting success and money and leadership role, prom promotion, okay? But take care of your health, yes, and you're being divinely guided. Some of you guys' name may be Andrew. Yeah, there's a lot of evil eyes being sent your way, okay? Be careful. You may be hearing about a death, but endings bring new beginnings, but you're shedding old skin and shedding old toxic ways and, sh and ending relationships and ending friendships with people, okay, Scorpio? Yeah, the answers that you need are coming, but be careful with people. Yeah, you feel alienated. You feel like you don't belong. That, you know, you 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 know, you're just different. In some way, you're just different. Okay, but when it comes to you and people, it just doesn't fucking work out. It, you just be disappointed with people and things not working out. You're supposed to be a team, but and this could be a relationship. It doesn't have to be work, but it just collaborations and working with people doesn't just it doesn't fucking work for you. You're better off working by yourself. Period. Okay? And stacking your paper on your own. But you have a lot of jealous and envious eyes over you at this time, uh, Aries. So, I'm going to get to this. Let's continue. I'm going to see what's the tea next. I have to see what's the tea. But let me just get some energy here from these cards. Yes, there may be someone else. You may have been cheated on or there's a third-party situation going on here. But for whatever it is, there's a lot of evil eyes. There's a lack of teamwork. There's a lack of cooperation here when it comes to people. And I see you cutting this fucking shit out. It's toxic as fuck. Okay, bye. Out of here. There may be too many people in your business as well. Yes, what I said six is follow your fucking intuitions. Aries, some of you guys may be tarot readers. You're highly intuitive, though. You're highly intuitive, but you're in, you're you're getting in tune with your spiritual gifts. For some of you guys, some of you guys may be dealing with a with a cancer or be some type of artist out there, musicians. But follow your intuitions. I told you, okay. Your intuitions never lie. That gut feeling, okay. Or you know, I I know it's, it sounds like sexist, but it's a a woman's intuition, a man's, but a woman's intuition. But follow your intuitions, okay. Yes, but I, it's just the same, but this is gender free, okay? Some of you guys may need a tower reading as well. Make sure you go to a qualified one. You're manifesting what I said, and you're manifesting abundance, and I see growth. Whatever you're manifesting is coming, okay? Tell the verse, but spirit wants you to set your intentions. Make sure that you set your intentions exactly. So even to a person, exactly what you want. It may not come exactly what you want, exactly how you want it, but it's going to be close to exactly what you want okay because somebody attractive is coming in as well to replace that stupid motherfucker yeah caution be careful pay attention to your health some of you guys may work in the healthcare field but i see you're getting more what's the 411 what's the 411 some of you guys are still healing from heartbreak your heart is shut off some of you guys may have a heart condition or a heart pace uh pace uh pacemaker okay but spirit is saying don't overwork yourself pay attention to your health okay and your guardian angels are protecting you, okay? And I see a lo your loved ones, again, a lot of prophetic dreams. You are loved and protected, okay? They're watching over you. They're protecting you, and they're sending you warning signs, caution, caution with people, caution, okay? Not everybody has your best interest. They come with a smile in their face and then stab you in your fucking back, okay? Yes, I don't give a fuck how good they look, how much money, no, or what they say. No, 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 Aries. We're not going there. Okay, let's see what's the tea now. Yes, there may be a lot of groupies. Some of you guys may be famous um, out there. I do see somebody, people wanting to take your picture. There's a, there are people on your shit, okay, on your dick, okay? That's what I'm going to say, on your dick, all right? Um, this is, again, gender-free, okay? You may be dealing with a Libra or you have a Scorpio moon. 
you're some type of artist out there or some type of entertainer okay yes yeah, some of you guys are still uh, still healing from childhood child neglect be careful with somebody calling ACS on you. Yeah, there's some type of memories from the past that haunt you about your childhood. You may grow up, you may have grown up in a toxic environment as well. Yeah, divination abuser. Okay, some of you guys are tarot readers or somebody getting tarot readings on you. Be careful who you watch or who you get tarot readings from. Be careful with this shit. Okay, be careful. Not everybody's for the light. Okay, but definitely some type of tarot readers or some type of uh, divination taking place here. Some of you guys are good at what you do as well. Yeah, there may be a lot of ego taking place here with you and somebody, a partner, a lot of pride, um, yes, between you and somebody else. Yes, you're hustling. There you go. You're all about your money. Some of you guys may be strippers as well, working two jobs or more more than one job, but make it rain. You're focused on your money. You're getting, you're getting it. Give me my money. Yes, you got people extra triggered, okay? Because you have a nonchalant kind of fucking attitude. You don't give a fuck. But you see, you play with fire, you get burned careful caution be careful with fires as well but people are extra triggered by you you're you know anger somebody's angry with you here okay yes head in the clouds okay there's a lot of fantasizing and daydreaming somebody may be daydreaming about you as well fantasizing about you or you about someone okay but somebody's trying to connect with you on the 5D. You may be missing a, long, uh, a lost loved one, your guardian. Uh, a, lost, a lost loved one is, is watching over you here. But somebody's head is in the clouds and there's manifestation taking place here as well. Yes, there's a, dirt, a dirty offer came in reverse. Okay, somebody tried to dirty, give you a dirty offer, but you, you, you following the signs. There's a dirty offer, but... Yeah, somebody's changing their outlook on you. They was coming with a dirty offer. Yeah, you're idolized. You're somebody in the public eye or you're going to be. Okay, some of you guys may be dealing with an Aries or have Cancer Moon. Okay, but Aries. Mariah Carey is an Aries. Okay. Yeah, somebody was coming with a dir dirty offer, but they know that you're highly intuitive. They can't sh bullshit you around. Okay. Somebody's changing their perspective here. They possibly came in with a dirty offer. And you and and you just cut this person cold off because you're ice cold. Your heart is ice cold. You're yeah. There's a lot of self reflection and healing taking place with you, but somebody can't forget about you. But out with the old. The old you is disappearing. New you coming up. Yes, there's somebody stalking you here. Okay, but you're moving in silence. There may be a lot of cyber bullying bullying going on here with you as well. You know, people talk shit. But if you're Aries, you talk shit back. I know I do. Okay, I talk a whole lot of shit. And I back it up too. Because <laughs> I don't give a fuck here. Okay, yeah. But moving in silence. But somebody is secretly stalking you here. They admire you. They, 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 they. Whoa, it's like Aries. Fantasizing about you. Haunted in reverse. Somebody's trying to get facts on you. Okay, as well. But you're, you're doing away with... Yeah, somebody's curious about you. Here we go. They don't want me to see. Okay. They don't want... Where, where you went? Oh, this person is curious about you. They hiding themselves, though. They hide it. Oh, Aries. My legs are hurting because I went to the gym. Oh, somebody's definitely curious about you. They hide it, though. You see, at uh, nighttime, be careful with somebody stalking you around nighttime or driving around your house and, you know... um. Uh, how can I say, um, trying to find out where you live and shit like that. Yes, but somebody's very, somebody's manifesting you here. Very curious about you. Yes, they make a fake account to spy on you. This may have been a love triangle. They see you winning. Okay, jackpot, go play the lotto, guys. But you're like, ain't shit, different day. I'm about my hustle, okay? Yes, an inheritance coming your way, unexpected money. Yes, but people are getting their bad fucking karma. There may be family issues going on here, or you may have grown up in a toxic family uh, household, but there's kids involved here, okay? You may have been in the middle of an ugly divorce as well. Yeah, creativity mantra. I see somebody uh, biting your style of the way you do things. They see you winning. There you go. You may have had an award or got an award here of some sort. Some of you guys may be dealing with somebody that's locked up or you're locked up, but somebody is up in their head about you, stuck on you, or you're stuck on someone here. One more. Yes, they're fishing for comments. What comments? You're ghosting people, but there's a ghost reappearing. Okay, what else? 
Yes, they're in their head. Somebody's overthinking something here, analyzing you. Some of you guys may smoke as well. They're tripping on you. You have a grudge holder here looking you up as well. We're going to find out who this is. Okay. Stalker, fake accounts. Let me fix this. Yeah, but you're too busy fishing your crown. You don't give a fuck about anything or anyone at this point. Okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All you all you have is success in your eyes. That's it. Making it. Yes, manifestation. What I said, you're manifesting and it's coming. So set your intentions. Manifestation. It keeps coming out, but somebody's manifesting you. But what you're manifesting you're, is going to come. <laughs> and you're going to be mighty surprised. But somebody's trying to get the tea on you here. Okay? They are. Yeah, you're in seclusion. Isolated. Flying under the radar. Not speaking to people. Just about business. Yes, you're focused on your dreams. And you're making it happen. Some of you guys are stars out there. Again, superstars. But with the stars here, you're on a healing journey as well. But there's too many people all up in your fucking business. And you're blocking them the fuck out. Yes, there's a divine coming in. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yes, prosperity. There you go. Your dreams are coming in. Your manifestation. And what I said that you're manifesting? Prosperity. Health. Wealth. A good living for yourself. Protection as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, acceptance, Put your leaving your stamp on this world, putting your feet up people's ass if you need to, but <laughs> that's not what your life is about. You're just staying away from these toxic people, okay? But again, something about traveling the world, moving, okay? You may be dealing with an earth sign towards Capricorn Virgo or have predominantly earth in your chart, but you're all about grounding, stability, yes, honesty, your money, being secured in life, okay? Yes. Uh-huh, but this is you. Uh, I see that you're opening up your own social media base. It's going to take off. Some of you guys are already known worldwide, but accepting the old you, accepting the past, leaving the past as accepting you for who you are as a person and how far you have come. It's been, you've been on a, quite a journey. You've been on, <laughs> on quite a journey here. You're working through issues. Yeah, you sacrificed a lot in life. Okay, but with your sacrifice come rewards. Okay, you're giving up something and now for a future reward. Exactly. So what's meant for you is meant for you. This person, someone else, fuck them. Okay, what's meant for you is coming in. That's, that wasn't your personal. That was, that didn't belong to you any fucking way. Now you're real, so you're giving it up. Yeah, your creativity is taking off. You're focused on your creativity. Some of you guys may have a lot of you. You guys are multi-talented. And I do see manifestation again dedicated to your work denying people some of you guys may have been got, got denied for a job but a new job is coming in just for you and a celebration spirit wants you to act your angels okay yes one more yes and you're becoming self-aware of your spiritual gifts and what you're here for your life purpose and who people really are seeing people for who they are but you're tapping into your higher self okay and you're asking questions the answers are coming all right but i do see rejecting people okay yes uh-huh but karmic cycles need to be broken here but somebody doesn't uh, somebody doesn't want this to be over or somebody is not accepting no for an answer you're having a hard time with someone here with a rejection some of you guys may have rejected someone and they're in denial about this rejection okay you may have been rejected for a job as well some of you guys are starting your own business but again try not to put too much on your plate here some of you guys may be journalists writers um the writer strike is over so you know some type of production 
actors, okay, reviewing people's work, teachers, going back to school. Some of you guys are supervisors out there. And again, there's a lack of teamwork, so there's more work added on you, but that's okay because you're going to get the recognition. You're, you're self-aware. You're becoming, you're becoming aware of these people. Uh, pay attention to your, your head, okay, any headaches or lack of sleep, insomnia. Go to the doctor, but I see that whatever you're manifesting is coming. Manifestation again. You're a magnet, and it's going to happen quick. Okay, just in a blink of, uh, of an eye, everything's going to tumble on you. And you're going to be like, wow, because all your hard work is going to pay off. And I do see a date coming, a date. Okay, yes. Somebody know that they can't bullshit you coming in with dirty off, dirty what? They're not coming in <laughs> with a dirty offer. Nah, they being sincere about this shit. And I see somebody have a gift for you. Yeah, somebody's going to be chasing you. This must, this may have been a runner and chaser dynamic going on here. A fear of intimacy, codependency going on here. A fear, of, a fear of abandonment as well. But I see that you you just, if you have children, you're concerned about your kids. Some of you guys may live by the beach. The You know, take a salt water bath. It's very healing. But you're healing. You're trying to contain your emotions and healing from the past. Childhood, childhood, a lot of memories of the past. Yes, but this is coming to an end. You stop chasing. You you may have been the chaser, but you stop chasing. Okay, you're going through a powerful transformation at this time. You may be dealing with a Scorpio, but death. You may be hearing about somebody's death as well, but um, freeing yourself from something here. But tragic ending. So again, yeah. Some of you guys may be planning a funeral or working a funeral home. Yes, you're ascending. What I said, 11. You're spiritually ascending, learning and expansion. That's what you're about, okay? But preparing for a union. There's a union coming in, a new phase coming in. <laughs> yes, some of you guys are in separation, but you're separating. You're secluded. You're separating your, yourself from bullshit, okay? But somebody is missing you and thinking about you, so you may be separated from a twin flame or your soulmate. But like I said, there's a date coming in, and I do see you guys getting engaged. What is this? And somebody wants to talk to you here, but learning somebody new. Yes, but this is all about you. Healing your shadow side, pampering yourself, doing the healing work. That's what you're doing. It's all about you. But new love is, and loving yourself, but new love is definitely coming in. Unconditional love. But right now, it's not today. I don't want your love. Not right now. I'm not ready for your love. Okay, but somebody's going to be coming in with a lot of love, gifts. Okay, yes. Um, but it's talking phases. You're going to be talking to somebody new, uh, weighing out your options with people. But I do see an engagement, a date, and love blossoming here. Okay? Yeah, it's all about you. Okay? You was dealing with people that were unawakened. Okay, or you was you felt like your love life was at a dry spell. You don't understand what's going on. Let me put oblivion here. Yes, it was a cat and mouse game with someone here. Always um, have to chase somebody here. In and out, hot and cold, just for sex. You're tired of this. Yes, lethal. Be careful with people around you, your surroundings. Okay, they're looking at your success, how you take care of yourself. Uh-huh, some of you guys mean, yeah, you guys are taking care of yourself. But you have a lot of dangerous people around you. Okay, that's unawakened here, but yeah, but uh, you was dealing with somebody, uh, it's, uh, I'm heavy twin flame here. Yeah, you're on the journey to success. That's all you have on your eyes and you're moving forward. You're leaving people behind, all these toxic people. It's all about self-care and self-love here. Be careful. Yes, you may have been involved in a third party situation, someone else. You, you possibly found this shit out. Some of you guys may have an OnlyFans or be sex workers out there, but there was a forbidden love. This may be a same-sex relationship or you found out one of your friends or family members slept with somebody that you know. Yes, but somebody has a gift for you. Like I said, somebody wants to come in. There is an even give and take. Somebody, you know, there's somebody new coming in, but there's somebody old that wants you back, but you're done with this. You moved on from this. Okay, you may think about it from time to time, but... Not today, okay? Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Uh-huh. That's how you feel. But somebody is a is somebody coming in with reciprocity or even give and take. Yeah, somebody yeah, there's a somebody wants to have a face to face meeting with you here. 
okay you may meet online or you know online dating i do see a lot of research taking place here what's the 411 on this person get your do a background check uh aries before meeting with anyone some of you guys may work from home hold an eye on meetings but again there's a lack of teamwork here so you're 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 getting a clean slate you see how you have all these people working with these people but it's a lack of teamwork so now you're getting rid of these people and starting over okay yes you're questioning people's motives. You maybe have yeah, there's you may work in a competitive field, but there's competition around you and there's a cut through. Again, yes, careful. Somebody wants to win at all costs here. But I do see an online business opening up an online business as well. Okay, you're networking. But somebody here, there's a lack of teamwork, holy water, stay prayed up. Some of you guys may be born again Christians or going back to church, but stay prayed up. You're being spiritually guided. Message, okay? You may be deal you may meet at church as well. This person may be traditional. Yeah, sweet nothings. This person may go to church, know better, has coming in with morals and principles, but they full of shit. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? Yes, yeah, some of you guys are socialite out there as well. Yes. Us. There you go. People actions are questionable. This may be a third party situation, but you need to question everyone, especially work business aspects. Okay. There's a lack of teamwork. One more. Yeah, she was be you may be dealing with somebody that's immature. Name may be Peter. Um, yes, yeah, but you're putting yourself on the pedestal. They see your worth. You know your worth, you know your value, you're not stepping down. Okay. Yes, you're fixing your crown. All right. Uh, yeah, but you may have been dealing with somebody younger, immature, okay, pay attention to the red flags, they full of shit, there's a shit talker, this person possibly go to church or be from some, from some type of, uh, religious upbringing, okay, somebody wants to have a face-to-face -face meeting with you, but they're not serious, but they want to give you a gift, okay, let's see what this fucking shit is about, but you're, you're questioning everybody's motives, because this person came in dishonest, there's a lot of suspicion surrounding you at work, people, this motherfucker here, Yes, because they now that the runner is going to become the chaser. But this person has some type of shit with them too. Okay? Yes. Careful. Careful. Careful with who you use drugs with as well. But this was somebody that was in and out of your life. Okay? You're, you're going to hear some type of disturbing news as well. But yeah, you guys are, are working on entrepreneurship. But public eye, wealthy, spoiled, privileged. That's how people see you. Okay? So careful with people. So let's see what this is about now. Yeah, some sad news. You're going to get some sad news. So I'm going to put all of them together and let's see what comes out. Snakes, the devil, hidden, stalking, fake accounts, the owl, fishing for comments, dirty offer in reverse. Sad news. Okay. Yes, yeah, seven of wands. I see somebody very defensive. I see that you're going to be fighting off a crowd or have to fight off a crowd. Be careful with somebody luring you uh, into some type of shit that you have to fight. But there's a lot of people that you have to defend yourself against. You see, there's a lot of hatred or dislike for you here. A lot of people trying to get in your energy and you're fighting them off, defending yourself. Heads, you know, holding, like, blocking people out. Standing your ground with people. Careful. Careful with getting jumped. Yes, five of cups. Okay, there's somebody here that's remorseful. Okay, you put up your guards. You're blocking people out. Okay, you're leaving people out. But this is somebody that left you out. That had you sad, remorseful, you know, up in your head. Okay, but there's still two cups standing. Some of you guys may have been drinking as well, or this person. Some of you guys are giving up drinking. But there's somebody here that's regretful and remorseful of the way they treated you here they may have been gossip going on around you as well there's a depression here yes the devil here we go the devil this is somebody obsessed with you there's this is somebody that has codependency addictions here drugs alcohol sex okay but this is somebody that is 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 regretful of the way they treated you here coming in with a fuckery here a dirty offer obsessively stalking you and spying on you here Yes, this person possibly rejected you or you rejected them, but they feel like they missed the opportunity with, when it came to you.
you're not accepting any any love offers. You're you 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 yes. There's magic going on, black magic. There's some type of some some type of fuckery going on in your energy here. Okay, yes. But I see you pouring your cup, pouring your love out for this person. No more love for this person and their toxic behavior and the way they came in using you has secret uh, secrecy and fuckery going on here. But there's an illusion around you, around this person as well. Yes, somebody's trying to bind you here, bind you to them, have you thinking about them. Somebody may be locked up, but this is a binding spell. Okay, some type of fuckery going on here. But somebody is stuck, stuck on you, but they want to leave you stuck on them. They're stuck on you. You're freeing yourself from this bondage. Yes, the emperor. They see your, they, there you go, this is you, Aries Taurus. This is you. Somebody's stuck on you here, but somebody wants to leave you stuck on them or wants to leave you stuck, stuck in your head, stuck on them. Somebody's mad that you rejected them as well. Did you saw their toxicity? You knew that they were, they had no, that they were up to no good, that they had some type of secrecy and fuckery going on with them. Yes, but somebody may be locked up here and there's a judge here. That's for some of you guys. Secretly locked up. Yes, they see you winning. There you go. I see you winning a court case as well, but they see you winning, succeeding. You have a, you get a lot of attention here. They don't like it, okay? They want your attention. They want you to focus on them. See me, Aries. Look at me, Aries, but you're not. I see an engagement and a proposal and somebody coming in of higher authority that's going to sweep you off your feet, a new love coming in. Yes, something that you manifested, but somebody's manifesting you and doing magic on your energy here. That's the truth. Yes. But whatever you're, whatever you're desiring is coming in. Be careful with overeating and over drinking. But I do see somebody serving you food. There's, there's, there's gonna be somebody that's gonna kiss the, that's gonna be catering to you here. What you want, Aries? Yes. Some of you guys may have a personal chef as well, but I see that whatever your heart desire is coming in. They're spying on you and your success, definitely. Okay, definitely. This is a group of people that's spying on you. Possibly your own mother or somebody that has kids. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's a group of them. It's a group of them. There may be gossip going on around you as well. But they see you celebrating your accomplishments. Happy, joy, joyful. They don't like it. You may meet somebody through friends as well or at a party or at a gathering. Somebody has their eye on you. There's a message coming in. Somebody wants to take you on a date as well. Somebody's reading your messages as well. Yes, a collaboration coming in. Okay, but again, teamwork is not working out. So I see you getting rid of this team and doing it by yourself, leaving people out in the cold, ghosting people. All right, but you work hard for your money. You came a long way and you work hard. This is you looking back at the past, how you had to work hard for your money and now you're in a prestige, you're at a higher position. You made it, you're making it. Okay, and they see you making it. Yes, you're all fo you're focused on work, work. But somebody wants to collab with you here. Somebody wants to send you a message to collaborate with you here. Uh, oh gosh, something that you can't refuse here. Okay, somebody's still holding on to your energy. Somebody's burdened by something here. Okay, yes, yeah, somebody's. Their people are, are going through their karma for the way they treated you here. Somebody wants to make an amends here. Okay, somebody may have owed you money too. They want to come back, but somebody's coming in with a big deal, a new love. Somebody wants to express their love for you as well, okay? But you're following your heart, and your heart is set on your finances and your success. Your purpose, what your life purpose is. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot of shit in life. And to go back there again, I think not. But somebody's burdened by you. They can't let go. They have one, one stick left. They have one stick left. They're not giving up on you or this connection. They don't want it to be over. This is somebody from your past. Now they want to come back and give in to this relationship. To give in, to, to, to build on something here for long term. The choice is yours at the end of the day. Because these people are getting their karma and their karma is not, their karma is not, is not, is not, is not for you to fix. Okay. It's, it's their karma, their, their problem. It's not your problem. Yeah. Because you're quite content being single. And, you know, this is an end. When it's over, it's over. Okay? This may be a Scorpio. Now you're rebuilding yourself. Okay? And you're rebuilding yourself by yourself. Getting your money in order. But somebody needs your help here. See? Boom. Somebody needs your help. Okay? Yes. They're waiting to hear from you, but you blocked this person out. 
87. 87 is 15. 15 is 6. Follow your intuitions. Yes. Somebody is snooping. Somebody from your past that has kids. Okay. They want to reignite. Again, they want to come in with their conversation. But this is a past life love. A soulmate is coming in. Okay. But I see that you're leaving people on reading. You're blocking people out. You're still healing from heartbreak. But there's somebody heartbroken over you. Possibly somebody that live a distance. But you're moving away from the drama. Yes. Okay. You may be traveling to a funeral. You may be hearing about somebody's death. Sad news. Okay. You may be left some type of inheritance as well. But I do see you financially straight but now somebody who was taken it was a one-sided relationship now somebody wants to come in and work with you get on the bandwagon when you can't beat them you join them but you're you're like no nope but dirty offer in reverse somebody came in with a dirty offer now they're remorseful they're regretful stalking you fishing for comments looking through your comments they see you star status healed rising above the bullshit here or you you know yes but there's a big fish coming in see this may be a pisces or aquarius Okay. All right, so let's pick some tarot here. So we're getting two cards, two cards to start off Aries reading. Yeah, you're blocking people out. You're very defensive. You're standing your ground with people. You don't give a fuck, okay? You're not allowing anybody in your circle, okay? There's a lot of opposing forces against you at this time. There's challenges, but, you know, hey, you're maintaining control and you're being assertive. You're very territorial when it comes to you and yours. Standing up for what you believe in as well, fighting, yeah, five of swords. There's a lot of jealousy and what I said, anger, uh... You know, people coming at you, wanting to fight you here. Aggression. There's a lot of aggression around you here. A lot of jealous people here. Okay? But um, there's a lot of self-sabotaging and self-sacrifice going on here. But there's underhanded behavior. There may be illegal activities taking place here. You're blocking this out. You don't want no parts of this at all. But be careful with some type of violence, some type of assault, some type of, you know, I don't want to say sexual assault. Or, you know, mortally injured here. Because I did see death and some type of sad news. Okay? Yes, Seven of Swords. What I said. Mm. There's some type of dishonesty going on around your energy. Um, Aries, be careful. There's some type of trickery. There may be some type of cheating. But somebody's running away from the truth. But again, somebody's dishonest here. And you have a hidden enemy. Danger. Danger. This may be a friend that's spying on you as well. But there's an enemy Pretending to be your friend here. Yes, three of wands. Okay, yes. There's some type of planning taking place here. Travel. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're freeing yourself from this bullshit. This may be a foreigner as well. Be care be careful with uh protect yourself, Aries. Okay. Always have something on you to protect yourself. But there's forward planning here and somebody's being deceitful here. All right, somebody's waiting for conversation as well, waiting for you, longing for you, but you, you know, your ships are coming in, but they're still, they're spying from you from afar. Okay, yes. Yes, Wheel of Fortune. Destiny is at play here. Somebody thought that they had control over you here. Uh, Aries, they thought wrong because I do see that you blocked this person out and you just stopped communication. Yeah, but now they're planning something. They're being strategic and being sneaky about it as well, and they're coming to fight. But I do see you putting up your guards and you putting up a fight here. So careful, careful, because I do see somebody getting arrested and somebody going to court behind this. But if it's self-defense, it's self-defense. But I, I talk some real shit. That's why I said warning, warning, okay? But they see your good fortune coming in as well, and you being very successful. This may be an Aquarius Taurus Leo Scorpio, but somebody thought that they had control over you. I think not. These are people from your past as well. These may be kids, okay? Somebody younger than you, but um, people that you grew up with as well, okay? Somebody may have lied about kids, but this is somebody... These are people that you know, people from your past, okay? This may be around children as well. Some of you guys' children may be, may be deceitful as well. You may be having arguments with your own kids. Yes, this is over money. Here we go. 
This is over money. They see you banking it. Okay? And these are people that you left out. All right? Hold on, guys. Yeah, somebody's coming up with a plan how to make money. Okay? But there may be children stealing as well. Or somebody is, is accusing your kids of stealing. But there may be stealing going on here. Fights and arguments over money. Yes. And somebody defending their kids or defending yourself against accusations here. But somebody's def this is a, a lot of money involved here. This could be over property and inheritance as well. What is owed to your kids, back payment for kids. Mm -hmm. But I do see somebody from your past coming in to make you an offer. A past life love, a soulmate coming in to take you on a date, to get to know you, to get to, you know, they want to build off of something here. Yeah, that's the truth. There's a breakthrough coming, though, but you're speaking your truth. You set those healthy boundaries. You cut through people's masks. Okay? New ideas, new plans for you. It's all about clear thinking with you and speaking your truth. But you're focused. You're focused. When you say, when you speak to people, they listen. Yeah, you speak your truth to the world. Okay, something that, you know, even when you post things online, you speak your truth here. But I do see an online social media where, you know, some of you guys are like counselors or light workers, uh, public speakers, something like that that you do online. And they see, they see your success. They see your success, but you're going through a, you're entering into a new phase and your manifestation is coming in. Okay, so if you were manifesting kids, I see kids. Somebody from your past, a soulmate, a past life love coming in. Your money coming in. Yes, a breakthrough when it comes to your money or uh, a higher position at work, a leader, uh, a promotion, celebration. Yes, but you're focused on yourself and your work. Okay, yes. You may be dealing with an Aquarius towards Leo Scorpio, and I do see traveling as well. Or meeting somebody online, online dating, having to travel to see someone. Yes, this is going to, boom, the tower, Scorpio. Yeah, this is going to take you by surprise, this coming in, all of this coming in at one time. Okay, some of you guys may be going through a divorce as well. But there's sudden change. Somebody's trying to cause chaos. There may be some type of online dispute as well. Anger. Okay, yes, eight of cups. I see you walking away from a situation here. Mm -hmm. Traveling, you're letting go, you're releasing the past. And you're entering into a new cycle, journey. You're, on, you're embarking on a new journey here. But you're looking for truth. You're seeking truth here. It's all about self-discovery and introspection going on with you. Tell me more. Yes, you move forward fearlessly. There may have been a fight. In, uh, somebody may have, I'm telling you right now, somebody got into a physical altercation. Somebody did something impulsive. And I see a fight taking place here. It could be one of your kids that did this. But there's a fight taking place here. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Spirit wants you to walk away from it. But tower, boom, this happened suddenly. Okay, you found yourself defending yourself, defending your kids, fighting. Something happened here fast. Okay, which caused somebody to get injured here. Yes. All right, maybe you got injured as well. But I see you moving forward fearlessly. There was somebody coming in, possibly using you for sex as well, in and out of your life, wishy-washy. Uh, I did see that you're, you cursed this person out and told, gave this person a few choice words, okay, about their shenanigans. Yes, but you're doing what you're passionate about. I do see negotiation and debate taking place here. Yes, Queen of Swords. Okay. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I see you speaking the truth. Uh, somebody here started something here, but you spoke your truth about something that caused an argument here. There's somebody here that is uh, very demanding, very controlling as well. Um, you know, and it caused a stir up. Somebody possibly said something to your kids or came out their face. And it stirred up somebody's, you stirred up your emotions or whatever. You spoke some truth here and it caused a riffraff here. Um, yes, but whatever it is, some truth was spoken here. But there's somebody here that's dominating, controlling, um, and was and doesn't know how to speak to people at times. Okay. 
So you're very analytical. You're, you're logical. You're head over heart. Yes, yeah, seven of pentacles. Okay, now, this may be a lawyer. Okay, this may be a lawyer um, that's defending you here. Or, you know, your kids was involved in a situation. Some of you guys' kids may be in juvie or something like that. Or, you know, serving some type of time here. Okay, that's for some of you guys. Or they're talking about negotiation, debates uh, about money owed, what needs to be paid out to you, or you paying something here. But this is about making investments. Okay, yes, but you're rebuilding yourself. You're trying to get your money straight after this chaos or whatever went down here. Yes, you're trying to move away. You're secretly planning to move away, but you're secluded. Okay. Yes, there's a lot of spying going on with you and a lot of gossip as well. Mm -hmm. There's something here that you didn't see any growth, but there was somebody here asking for money. Where's the money? Okay, somebody here started some shit and angered somebody, like asking for money. Where's the money? There's money missing. Where's the money? Blah, blah, blah. Or where? when am I going to get my money? This person is very, you know, argumentative and it caused a fight. Yes, so there's, there's a lot of spying and research that's taking place here. Okay, planning as well, but you're protecting yourself. But there's somebody very calculated here as well. Making calculated moves. King of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Some of you guys may be married here as well, or this may be a business person. Um, again, negotiating some, some, some type of deal here. But there's somebody spying on you here, a business person of some sort that wants to come in to make you a big offer, possibly to work with you here, or, you know, investments. This person is about finances as well, trying to get your finances in order, talking to a financial uh, counselor here or um, analyst, some, some, some stuff like that, okay? But this is all about grounding yourself, being a good provider, okay, taking care of business, your stability, building your empire. Mm -hmm. They watching you build your empire here. Yes, the moon. Yeah, this person is secretly watching you, but there's some type of illusions and secrecy going on with a business person or in a marriage or somebody's hiding the fact that they're married or who they really are. Yes, the moon, this, the moon and the sun, but things being illuminated, some type of truth being, some type of truth or light being shed on a situation here and the bullshit, okay? There may be kids involved as well, children. All right. Yes, this person may have a secret family or live a double life here. Uh huh. But I see that you're going to be coming out of this dark space and happiness. But right now, you're remaining. You're flying under the radar. You don't want you don't want people to know too much about your success. But it it, it shows. Yes, Nine of Pentacles. There's somebody coming in, single. And have their shit together but there's some type of mystery surrounding this person or this person finds you to be mysterious they can't read you okay yes five of wands there's a lot of competition surrounding you here you're overwhelmed yeah some of you guys may be going to court but there's a fight that broke out here you see there's a fight that broke out here this may be fights over property as well yes this may be with you with the you know with your own sisters and brothers here uh-huh you know yeah, something is about something hasn't closed out yet. You may be dealing with a Libra. Yes, this may be over lovers. Somebody's manifesting you, but you're gonna have a choice in love. You may meet, maybe meet it through friends. Gemini. Okay. Yes. But I do see options. Okay, weigh not your options. But again, somebody put you in a third party and was playing mind games here. Okay. Yes, you may meet this person through work as well. But somebody has to give a gap here. And so do you. But this is the willpower to keep moving on. But whatever you're manifesting, you're manifesting more than what you expect there. You're going to have a choice here. But I see that you're maintaining your independency. Some of you guys are happy being single as well. But somebody's going to make you very happy. The decision, whatever decision you make is going to make you very happy. Choose, well, I don't have to tell you to choose wisely. You know, destiny lies in your hand. Yeah, this may be a queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but Empress. Somebody that's very loving, very caring, Taurus, Libra. The Emperor came out before. 
But there's a lot of be there's gonna be a lot of people competing for your energy or against this relationship here. New love. There you go. Ace of Cups, new love. Uh-huh. Somebody's coming in. Somebody very generous as well. But there may be a pregnancy as well that somebody has to pay for or, have, or somebody has to tell you about. A secret here that somebody has to tell you about. But I do see you moving forward. And moving forward with a new love that's going to be very giving, very giving, very generous, very attentive, very loving, very supportive, very caring. But somebody wants to fight for your love as well. Okay, there may be a fight. There may have been a fight over pregnancy as well. Or, you know, somebody not giving their equal give and take in a relationship or a household here, or kids. Yeah, but yeah. Hold on, Aries. All right, let's continue. Yeah, the floodgates are opening. There you go. This is your energy, queen, queen, king of fire. Some of you guys are single, playing the field, but you guys are looking very good, taking care of yourself, smelling good. You're all about business, taking charge in your life, okay? But yeah, definitely your money is coming in. Your abundance, this may be an Aries, but you're only your reading. There's a soulmate coming in as well. You're astral traveling. Pay attention to your dreams. You're the wounded warrior, but you're not giving up the fight. You're very courageous. You're up for the challenge, okay? Challenges. <laughs> Looking very sexy, very handsome. More than what you expected is coming in, Aries. You're very bold as well. Yes, a divine coming in. Ooh, this person looks good. This person works out. But right now, you're in spiritual solitude. There's a divine. Divine, your perfect match is coming in. Possibly a cancer. This is going to take you by surprise. A Libra. But you're going to have to decide here. <laughs> you may meet online. But balance is going to be restored in your life, baby. There's a family person coming in that's that's going to be modest, a good listener, social. Mm -hmm. This may be a cancer as well. Or a uh, Scorpio. Yes, king, queen of fire. You're perfect match, baby. You're perfect fucking match. Ace of fire. This is going to be a passionate new beginning. Passionate new beginning. Okay, your project's taking off as well. This person is a business person. <clears throat> A lot of sex, yeah, shadow, yeah, somebody's healing, the, healing their shadow side. You're getting in tune with your spiritual gifts, okay, yes, your, your intuitive gifts. Somebody was a player here, but they, they played with the wrong one. They played with fire here. They played with fire here, yes, okay, and they met their, they met their match. Yes, an energy vampire. You have a lot of energy vampires. Somebody's in a karmic relationship that they're trying to get out of. Yes, somebody's going through awakening. Somebody was unawakened. Now they're awakening to their truth. This may be an Aquarius, but it's all about your independence. <laughs> mm -hmm. And speaking of truth, yes, this may be a Capricorn, but you're hard at work. Okay? This may be a Scorpio. What the? What fell down? Oh, King of Swords, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yes, this person may be a police officer, military. Uh, authoritative figure, authoritative figure, Bis uh, highly intelligent. There's communication coming in. Yes, Scorpio. But you're you're hypnotizing. Yes, some of you guys are healers, doctors out there, nurses. But there's somebody that's gonna come in. That's gonna be a provider. Okay, the perfect match. I mean, you have options. Two people. I mean, two or more people. Perfect match. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Perfect match. Okay. Yes, matches. You're gonna match each other's fly. Mm hmm. Yes. Let's see who's coming in really quick. Yes, you may want to maintain an open relationship in the beginning. No commitment, no strings attached because you're weighing out your options. You may have been in an open relationship or you, yeah, this is an emperor coming in, a boss, an entrepreneur. Somebody that's detached. Your energy. This may be a Leo as well. But this person may have kids. Yes, you see? You're going to be caught up. <laughs> what I said. A love triangle. But there was an option here. But somebody values you. And I do see an engagement. Somebody coming in with jewelry. Yes, there's going to be a, got a lot of gossip surrounding this. What I said. Somebody's going to marry you here. This is a spiritual union. Okay, this person is going to be a gift giver. This person is career oriented. A new love with money. Okay. Yes. You may meet at work. <laughs> All right. It may be a long distance, but in reverse. So this person may be, you know, moving towards your location or yes. 
okay but you're 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 somebody that they put on a stage and idolize here okay they admire you admire your work they find you to be very good looking handsome beautiful sexy okay yes Fix you. you're, you're fixing your crown, baby. You're just getting started. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you're just getting started. Someone else. Yeah, but now you have someone else. Yeah, I detached to work on myself. Somebody's working on yourself. There's a new love coming in. I should have treated you better. What I said. What I said. I need you. You're going to have a indecision, but you're going to make, yeah. You're going to be like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this. Not today. Okay? Not today. <laughs> but somebody was indecisive here. I think about you day and night. There's a power couple coming in, but karma's catching up to people. I see you getting eloped with this person. You know? Yes. Aquari uh, Aquarius. This may be an Aquarius. Aries. <laughs> this may be an Aquarius. I did see Aquarius. Yes, it's going to be love at first sight. This person is obsessed with you till death, do, till death do us part. Somebody may have been married here, but somebody wants to grow old with you here. They wanted to put in the work. Yes, I want to make love to you in reverse because you're going to you're gonna say, you, if you're coming for sex, I don't want sex. Can we talk? Somebody's demanding you. Somebody's masturbating to you as well. Somebody wants you back here. There's a reconciliation. Somebody's going through court and legal issues. One more. And I'm scared to leave. Somebody was scared to leave here. Uh, situation. Okay, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But you're not forgiving. Depressed and crying over you. Gas. But there was gaslighting. Ha <laughs> ha. And somebody feels like they're having a breakable bond. They're looking at your old photos. A twin flame. But protect and cleanse your energy. But somebody wants to make it official. They're manifesting you. But there's going to be a lot of gossip surrounding this. Yes. Somebody wants your forgiveness, but you're not ready to open up. Yes. You're still healing for some of you guys. Yes, prickly situation. And boy, oh boy, is is it? Okay? But this could be at work as well. But it says, you need both tact and diplomacy to reach your goals. The struggle is worth the prize. Work around the issue and use gentle touch. So, yes. Although you don't want to, yeah. You're going through the renewal process. Saving face. You may need to grin and bear it to maintain respect and keep your job. Or you need to smile and make nice to get the position you want. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're playing the fucking game. And you're going to get it. And magic. Do you believe in magic? Your manifestation is taking place. You have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want into your life. The sky is the limit. And, you're, and that's exactly what you're... And it's coming. It's coming. Lightning fast is coming. You're going to have many options and many choices to choose from. Aries. Okra, unattractive, mad at the world, thoughtless, and uncompromising. These are these people, okay? These are these people. Even if they're attractive, they're unattractive. They're mad at the world. They're thoughtless and uncompromising. But they may view you this way. You don't really give a fuck, okay? But you don't. You kissed a lot of frogs in life, in your life. Now, where's your prince and princess? Orange, optimism, happiness, vitality, and meditation. Yeah, you're leaving all these toxic people, okay, out of your life. And you're, yes, you're optimist. You're moving forward optimistic. You're happy. Vitality, meditation, and joy. You're bringing joy back into your life. Some of you guys may love orange juice or okra. One more. Happiness is being restored. And garlic, protection from evil spirits, purification, good luck, and abundance. I can't make this up. Yes, you're protected. You're going through the purification process. And good luck is on your side and your abundance is coming in. What the fuck? It can't stop shit. I 
got two more readings after you and I'm done. Taking the leap, courage. Okay, yes, leaping into your life purpose. But somebody wants to take a leap, for you, take a leap with you, take a leap of faith towards you. They building their courage to come. You have to let go of something good to get something great. What I said, sacrifice. You're letting go of something. Taking a leap into the unknown can be scary, but you are being called to have faith in yourself and the universe. If you want to experience the next level of success, you cannot stay comfortable. Enjoy the journey. What I said, embarking on a new journey. That's exactly what you're doing. One more, and I'm closing out your reading, Aries. Cha-ching! Jackpot, baby! You're just getting started. You're fixing your crown, baby. Money coming in, wealth, good investment, career, sales and finance, getting a raise and lucky. Yes, baby. Making it rain, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, Aries, I have to go. I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible. Your girl, Tosh. I'm out.